Today, we're gonna to be discussing one of the most important, fascinating, and mind-blowing mysteries that has ever surrounded Mother Gothel. We are looking at how Gothel learned the healing incantation. I think an allegiance with some formidable beings from the past guided Mother Gothel to the magic and wisdom that allowed her to thrive with a young appearance far beyond a normal life. Hello, I'm Isaac from Watson Videos where we discuss fun topics for fun people. On my channel, I'm focused on spreading magic by discussing Disney, so if you are new here, consider subscribing. You see, long ago, before Mother Gothel had control over the Sundrop, there existed a partnership between an ancient sorceress known as Zontiri and a brilliant engineer and inventor named Lord Demanitus. Together, they were on a quest to find the Sundrop and the Moonstone, two powerful entities that had been divided by a mysterious cosmic event in the heavens before they descended to the world. While this partnership was formidable, it would inevitably degrade as Zontiri began to become obsessed with hoarding the power they searched for, desiring to have both ancient entities at her command. From the moment where Lord Demanitus turned his back on the ambitious Zontiri until they both faded from the world, they would rage a war against one another for a millennia. While Zontiri might have begun as an individual searching for knowledge, she devolved into someone who spent the rest of her existence manipulating others, seeking revenge, craving destruction, and wielding dark magic. Now it does seem a little weird that these wise forces were able to learn about the Sundrop and the Moonstone without actually having them in their possession. But as we are able to see from the creation of the Dark Kingdom around the Moonstone, people had been interacting with and attempting to understand these entities long before even Zontiri and Demanitus existed. I think each of these entities were primarily piecing the entire world's understanding of the Sundrop and Moonstone together for the first time. For many years, Zontiri and Demanitus clashed throughout the world as the sorceress continued to attempt to take revenge against him and they both continued to search for and research the Sundrop and the Moonstone. Zontiri would continue to understand these heavenly objects more while she remained protected by an entity known as the Great Tree, while Lord Demanitus developed his knowledge on these powerful objects with three of his pupils. There was Chamus, Shugaracha, and finally, an unnamed student of Demanitus who I believe is Mother Gothel. Clearly, it looks like her, with the large curly hair and the hourglass dress, but it's not just looks which leads me to believe that it's truly her. We actually know that Gothel's voice is present in this episode as Donna Murphy, the woman who voiced Gothel even in the original film, was credited as an additional voice in this episode. Plus, she was credited alongside Gavin Creel, who had voiced Tramus in his original reveal of that character along with Eden Regal, who is not the original voice of Sugar Racha as she was originally brought to life by Eden Green. But Eden Green was a lead in a feature film that came out in 2019, so I've a feeling she might have been a little busy to return. What I'm saying is that it appears Gothel's voice actress was credited alongside the other voices of Lord Demanitus's pupils. That means with no other references or flashbacks to Gothel in the episode Lost and Found, which introduces this group of followers, other than this form that resembles her, I believe that the third individual has to be Mother Gothel. This is the moment that I believe was meant to allude to Mother Gothel's true origins. And now that you understand why I think Gothel was an individual that studied the Sundrop and the Moonstone with Lord Demanitus, now I can explain what became of those followers. Zontiri appealed to the pupils of Demanitus' desire for power and convinced them to betray their master to become her disciples. Craving the heavenly powers that she promised, these three pledged themselves to the sorceress and called upon their new master now that they believed in her mission, might, and magic. But soon after that, Zontiri's empire kind of came crashing down. After using all of his power to banish Zontiri to the Lost Realm, Lord Demanitus broke apart his research and hid the pieces across the world, fearing what the knowledge could be used for in the wrong hands. He also began the process of imprisoning Zontiri's followers, which even included one of his former students, Shugaracha. 
but Tramus and Gothel were able to escape this purge. If you'd like to learn more about Zontiri's entire story, I'll leave a link to my video about her down below because I can assure you she does return. Although for now, her disciples were on their own. From those ancient days on, Tramus and Shigaracha were able to survive for hundreds of years by transforming themselves into spirits. But of course, Mother Gothel never did that herself as I believe she wanted to preserve her true body. I mean, she just cared about her looks a little bit, right? In the episode of Tangled the series, A Tale of Two Sisters, we learn that underneath the cottage where she would eventually raise her daughter Cassandra, which she could have stayed within since her days after Zontiri, there existed a hidden underground hideout with a room covered in notes about the Sundrop and the Moonstone. What is this stuff? <gasps> the Sundrop. Oh, look at this. The Sun Incantation. What these documents appear to resemble is the research within the Demanitus and Great Tree Scrolls. It seems that Gothel took some of the knowledge that she had contributed to discovering with her when she went into hiding from Lord Demanitus and all who sought her ancient power. While other disciples of Zantiri plotted for their master's return, it doesn't seem like that was truly what Gotha was striving to do. There's really no evidence that she was trying to bring her old master back, even when she discovered the unlimited power of the Sundrop. In my mind, she turned her back on Zantiri just like she did to Demanitus. I believe after a lifetime of investigating, researching, and struggling to uncover the secrets of the Sundrop and Moonstone, turning her back on two masters who had assisted her along the way, and finally clamoring for the restorative and healing magic of the Golden Flower, I think Gothel finally found what she had been hoping for when she needed it most. I think Mother Gothel carried that precious research that contained the Sundrop's healing incantation with her throughout the rest of her life, until that fateful moment when she was able to discover the Golden Flower. And from that day on, she would do anything to protect it. But let me know down below what your thoughts and theories are about how Mother Gothel discovered the healing incantation. Also, make sure to subscribe and click the beautiful bell, and then click on another magical video in the description or on the screen. Finally, as always, thanks for watching and have a magical day.